Okay, so um, this is the first stage of our projects uh, page display system. Um, you've already taken some photographs, they're going to be quite large, so uh, what we need to do is reduce them down in size um, from say large files 2 meg, they can be, I've seen up to you know 4 or 5 meg um, in terms of size, we really need to get those down. So the first thing to do is go on to you, you may already have software on your uh, computer which will allow you to reduce the size um, but the one we're going to focus on is um, let me drag this over is one called um, Serif Photo Plus there is a free version so what you would need to do is go onto serif.com I've already got the, the link here and um, at the very bottom of the page you will see Photo Plus Starter Edition. Click on that, uh, click on Download Free now. Uh, you have to type in your details um, and probably open up a, a, a login account. It doesn't cost you anything um, but uh, that's what you're going to need to do. Now I've already got one, I've been using Sarah for years, fantastic programs. So we'll close that one down. So what we'll do, we'll open up uh, the program, I've already downloaded it, and we'll go into uh, Serif Applications, and it's the Photo Plus Starter Edition, and here we go. So that's going to boot up. First things first, just uh, cross this out, and um, what we're going to do, we need to uh, find the image. Now I've already set them up on the computer um, as, as you would have done. You would have taken your photographs of the project and I would suggest in batches of four so um, so the system will display uh, four and then uh, two, two rows uh, so you get eight in there. So four should be more than adequate anyway. So first off uh, we're going to find them. So I've saved them under brochures, uh, this folder here, um, under project A1 I'm going to open this one up and there we go quite a large file um, so what I'm going to do here is image image size and I'm going to go for a thousand width and I'll suggest about the same for yourselves okay and that reduces that down inside it's only showing 50% here so you can zoom in just by I've moved up my um, uh, the scroll uh, a button on my uh, the mouse. Now um, what we ne then need to do is go File, Export, I'd click on Optimizer here first purely on the basis that um, I've already uh, done this. Now if we were to send this over as 100% you can see it's 431 uh, K which is half a meg. Um, just by reducing it down to uh, 90% goes down to 117 and you can see the quality is still there so uh, that's what I suggest small photo size and it will load really fast for uh, clients viewing your website so we'll click on OK there we then need to save it to the relevant folder so we'll find uh, the projects folder again okay now I do like to keep the original so we'll rename this one to uh, SM small and save and now that's been done we can uh, close that do you want to save changes no um, open up another one so you can see just by hovering over that it's been reduced down in size so this one here it's one meg and that has gone down to 114k you know there's four times small uh, almost ten times smaller so um, we we'll do the same here. Image, image size, 1000. File, export. Now again, the optimizer would have remembered, so you can see this 90%. So you won't need to do that again. Uh, just remember to do SM, so you're not overwriting the original. Okay. Open up another image size 1000 file export SM. 
close that. And the final one is this one. So image size 1000. OK, file, export, SM. Save. Close that. And then we have it. We've reduced the size of those photographs and they're now ready to upload to your um, project page display system. Uh, we'll close this now because it will pop up with this. You can just cross that and close it. And that's it. It's a free bit of software, excellent software, uh, so enjoy.